that we wouldn't hear uh, ad hominems or attacks from your position or your side. I did want to bring this to your attention and get your response. Uh, after the panel that you appeared on with the late uh, Christopher Hitchens, you referred to him in an interview with Christian Radio as, quote, and this is on YouTube, Weasley, oily, and lacking in intellectual substance. A great success! You then referred to, in your debate with Richard Carrier while he was there, to him as a hack. You also referred to fans as Richard Dawkins in an interview, and this is also on YouTube. Dawkins is so p popular because, he, because people are so unsophisticated, inept, sophomoric, they cannot think logically, uninformed, silly, ignorant, and the result, and this is your words, of an educational system that has been dumbed down. <laughs> Ms. Uh, Ms. Craig, uh, quite frankly, is this hypocrisy or is this just a glimpse of the real William Lane Craig? Now, it's been said that it's all fun and games until someone pulls out an M16, or in this case, a Colt AR-15A2. Well, I, I, I think it's a glimpse of the real William Lane Craig. Uh, <laughs> um, I, no, no, I, I don't know that, but, but no, um, maybe it's important to describe what an ad hominem is. That means literally against the man. And what an ad hominem argument would be is that the reason you reject his conclusion is because you attack his person. Um, maybe like attacking me, you know, for these aspersions. No, wait, no, let, me, let me finish. It, it would be like saying that my conclusions are wrong because I've said all of these nasty things. See, that would be an ad hominem argument. But in none of these cases that you've quoted, where you've compiled words uh, not strung together at once, but you put them together, n in none of these cases, I think, will you find that I ever reject a person's argument or conclusions on that basis. Rather, these were probably said in response to questions like tonight, where I said some pretty negative things about uh, folks rejecting God for emotional reasons rather than intellectual reasons, and I would certainly reiterate what I said about the lack of sophistication and the dumbed-down educational system, but in no case is this committing an ad hominem fallacy where I say that their conclusions are wrong because of those things. I'm just, I've, I've been asked to characterize certain things as I was tonight, and I've given my honest characterization that I would stand by. I mean, I think it is, it is true, all of those things that I said, but it's not, a, it's not an ad hominem fallacy. At most, it would be impolite, maybe. You could indict me for being impolite, but... Okay. Okay.